Let's play Anno Dime. I'm really excited for this let's play. And this is an awesome new game. The first game uh, earlier this month. Called Anno Dime. Made by these two guys. And let's see, I got honor mention with the IGF for students games, which is pretty awesome. And I've been playing it recently and it's actually a whole lot of fun. So let's just get started. Alright, pressing the start. Mr. Little. Hello? Young. Hey. No, oh, you can hear me? Good. Now listen. You are about to wake up. You will use the arrow keys to move around. Move around me. You will press the C to keep the interrupt your object. And people around you. Alright. And you will press enter key to access the menu, which will provide you with information about yourself and your surroundings. Let's see no items, no cards. Let's save. Stop. Okay. There's writing spell on this rock. Something, sometimes you talk to people multiple times, they have a thing to say. But not rocks. Rocks don't do that. Haha. <laughs> Alright. This game has a somewhat bizarre, interesting sense of humor. Okay, who are you? Well, it's about time. Uh, I mean... Greetings, young. I am a sage, the village elder. You have been summoned here because the darkness has spread across the land. The darkness seeks the legendary briar. Use the briar's power for evil. You must reach it first. You must protect the briar. While sitting on checkpoint, press the <coughs> save your progress and set it as your response point. Okay. Village Elder is a name only, for he is neither. Okay. I want to go here. Onward. I should talk to the Elder Mark, I think he forgot to. But he would have told us to come. So I'll go. Okay, there's. Door is locked. We cannot pass. You may notice that this game features fantastic pixel art. This switch is a very Zelda esque type game. Press E to switch. So, this is our main weapon in the game the broom. Which will you to press then and attack? Of course, we don't have a key yet. That is a key. Spoiler alert. And there's a chest. This game is very Zelda esque. In a good way. Very good way. A single time we use a single time something locked by this. Alright. That? <coughs> that was going way too fast. Oh, I've never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? <coughs> huh? Want to protect the briar from the evil darkness? Well, I have no clue what you're talking about, but sounds cool, I guess. I just went out and peddling my wares. What? No, I'm not a salesman. Wares is the name of my bicycle. Yep, that is wares. Okay, so this is a girl who rides her bicycle named Wares. I don't know where she's going. Kind of okay, so start exploring. That is a gate that requires four cards. We don't currently have any. So we're kind of out of luck on that regard. We are gonna collect some. We 
reason here. Yeah. It is a card of some guy sitting down. Cards are basically about uh, pictures of either like enemies or characters in the world. So we'll run across him a little in a little while. Yeah, we can't get through that. No point. So yeah, we are going to, we're hunting for cards right now, they're kind of like baseball cards, you don't really trade them, you just kind of collect them. Yeah, let's go look at that, Never mind. it's just, these are bats, what would a game, would be what game would be complete without bats, oh look it's Sage. Soon your skills will be put to the test, young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you will be able to strike them into them. And I assume by this point you've found a weapon? What? I mean, I mean, yes, of course, a broom. Just as this was told in the legend. Fully incompetent. Hey, what are you still doing standing around here for? Same building the legend. He's on the map of a janitor's closet. There's a portal. Once this man came and installed a mirror in my bathroom. I was afraid that there was a hidden camera inside of it. I scouted every inch of the room frame, spraying Murphy's oil and soap into the crack, thinking I might short circuit the wall. Of course, I never found anything. I can't believe they could seeing one. I don't know why I came here. I'm too afraid to go inside. Okay, this is Edward, right? Yes, Edward. He is a character, alright? And he's a little paranoid, as you can tell. That's why. Well, I can't get over here, so it doesn't matter. So let's take a look at the map. Let's go and just, before we go inside the temple, we were gonna, let's go and check out that other area of the map that we have yet to see. That we have, well, yet to see that we haven't, we are able to get to currently. Because obviously there are some parts of the map that we can't get to at times. Well, that is a little bit of a letdown, I'll be perfectly honest. I thought nothing was there. Okay. Cool. So, this has been Anodyne. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and sorry for being a little short, but I'm trying to keep the uh, flow of it decent, so I'm going to be doing like an aerial video. Obviously, I'll be back for more areas and stuff, but... This next time we'll be going to the first dungeon of the game. Errors only have a name, so I'm not sure what I'll call it, but you know. I will see you guys next time.